just um, we'll carry on for now. Um, so please remember if please remember to listen to your body, but we'll just give it a go this morning. Okay. So you can start. Um, you can start lying down and just tuning into you, your body. Please remember as well, anybody in your house is welcome to join in. It doesn't matter if you've got children running across the screen. It doesn't matter if you're a partner, brother, whatever. You can, uh, it, they can all join in. So I'm going to start with a poem. And this was written by Kate Rachova, who um, is a newly qualified teacher that I've been on a course with recently. But I thought it was nice. So lying or sitting as comfortably as you can, how it's right for you, hope. As I listened to the sea, realising it was not just me, but that others noticed too, I wasn't such a fool. The sky started to turn grey, it has never been that way. It was ready to cry and the clouds beginning to fly as if birds carried them away. It was the middle of May. The sky started to turn red and realized I was not dead. It's only a matter of fate. Just know it's never too late. Listen to the ocean waves and you'll realize what your soul craves. Hope. I thought that was quite lovely. Um, I'm adding some of the poems and things to the website um, and I'll send a new link to that. So from your lying down, I'll come and join you and we'll just tune in. Stretching your legs out if that's right for you. And just notice, I will say I don't know if you can hear me through the microphone or through the telly so wave if I'm too quiet. Just notice how, how you feel. Notice your body. Any areas of tightness or um, discomfort. Any areas that are tense. And notice your breath. Tune into the natural rhythm of your breath. You don't need to alter it. You don't need to change it. You don't need to judge it. Just observe. And, and take your arms overhead so you come into a full body stretch. Flexing your feet so you're stretching out from the heel through the points of your fingers, tips of your fingers. And relax. Walk the heels over to the right and the shoulders to the right and take hold of the left wrist with your right hand so you've got that banana stretch down the left side. And notice how your ribs expand in that position and you can breathe into that space. And relax and come back to center. Walk your heels left and your shoulders left and take hold of the right wrist, encouraging that stretch down the right side. You can even cross your leg over one another. Again, notice the ribs opening up and the breath reaching that space. And relax, come back to center. Just rearrange your back, lifting your pelvis off the floor and then placing it down and then bringing the knees into the chest just so the lower back can come right down to the floor. Notice the contact with the ground. Put your hands onto your knees and just rock a little bit side to side. Again, just tuning into your body. Maybe take the knees together in a circle. And change direction. Then take the left foot up to the ceiling and flex the foot a little. You don't want to lock that leg. Take the right foot to the floor and just hold behind the left back and feel that stretch up through the left leg, through the heel. And as you inhale, lengthen through that leg, and as you exhale, soften. Just in time with your breath. 
relax it a little and take that left ankle to your right knee for our reclined pigeon gentle at the beginning of the class so your left ankle is on your right knee you're encouraging that left thigh and knee away from you flex the left foot protecting the knee stay there or lift the right foot maybe hold it behind the right thigh to increase the stretch through that left foot and breathe and maybe rock side to side. Anything that ever triggers pain, don't do it. Come back, stop. Discomfort, stretch, that's okay. Tension, but not pain. And release. Swap sides, put the left foot flat on the floor, take the right foot up to the ceiling, and feel that stretch down the back of the leg. Maybe holding behind the thigh again. Inhale and stretch through the back of that leg. Exhale and soften and lift up. And breathe. And release from that position. Take the right ankle to the left knee, flexing that left, sorry, that right foot. And encouraging that right knee and fly away. Then lift the foot off the floor if that's right for you, holding behind the thigh. And lean back into our uh, reclined pigeon and just maybe a little rock side to side yeah. feeling the stretch through that right hip yeah. and breathe and really take both feet flat to the floor and then wherever they land just drop the knees over to the left take your arms out wide and take your gaze over to the right just for a gentle Supine twist. I've said it before, but twists I prefer at the start of the practice to be lying so you haven't got the load on the spine. And gentle at the start of the practice too. Pick the knees up and take them through centre, drop them over to the right until it goes over to the left. And notice the sensations of the twist, the different parts of your body when you feel it. Noticing how our body feels is the interoceptive awareness, which is one of the key benefits of yoga as it tunes us in. Knees back to center, and bring them into the chest, hands behind the knees, a little rock and roll, and come to seated. And sit on a cushion, if that's better for you, or a block, anything, a book even. Maybe crossing your legs the way you don't naturally, just to shift. Again, closing your eyes and just tuning in. Take the left hand down to the mat. Inhale, bring the right hand up. Exhale, take it over. And leave it there, don't stop breathing. Just feel that stretch. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale and release and swap sides. Right hand down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it over. And breathe. Don't hold your breath. Next inhale, take it up. And exhale, take it back down. I'm just going to come up back on. Now, especially since we've started late, you'll be here from mid midnight. <laughs> So I get carried away and I'm feeling all energetic. <laughs> okay, we'll take an easy twist. So right hand to left knee, left hand just behind. Inhale and lift, as though you're lifting your chest out of your ribs. Exhale and just twist a little, not too strong. And breathe. And release, straight to the other side. Left hand to right knee, right hand just behind. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and twist. Nice and gentle. And release. We'll come to tabletop position, four point kneeling pose. So on your mat or wherever you are, making sure that your wrists are stacked under your elbows and shoulders, knees are under hips. And just some gentle cat cow to warm up the spine. So 
tipping the pelvis, dropping the stomach and lifting through the chest. And then tipping it the other way, rounding through the spine and dropping the head. And then do that at your speed, but you can take your cow with your inhale and your cat arching up with your exhale. Just a few of those at your speed. And maybe as you do it, you can move a little more side, sideways, sort of undulating, just getting into that fascia. So when you do this and you go off the normal track, there's no right way, there's no wrong way. Let your body guide you. And then come to stillness. Inhale forwards a little. And exhale down into child pose. Inhale forwards a little. And exhale back down to child's pose. Inhale once again forward. And exhale down to child's pose. And this time stay. Come up onto your fingertips, stretching through the arms and across the back. Don't stop breathing. And release. And remember, if your hips don't touch your heels, that's okay. But you can always put a cushion under them. And as you're ready, inhale forwards and come all the way through down, through down to your stomach. Taking your hands at the height of your shoulders and just sort of under your shoulders. We'll have a gentle cobra. So inhale and lifting through the chest. And remember, if you have sciatica, to be pushing the pelvis, tipping the tailbone down, protecting that lower spine. And exhale, release. Inhale and lift again. Move you a little higher. And exhale, release. And one more. Inhale, lift again. Maybe a little higher, a bit more weight into the hand. And exhale, release. Inhale, push up, push back as though you were going back into a child's pose, but tuck the toes under. So your sit bones are heading towards the sky. Keep your hands spread out, fingers spread out wide, elbow creases facing forward, and come up onto your toes, just hovering for a moment. Keep the knees bent, but send the chest towards the thighs, not pushing all the way through. And then the sit bones to the sky, coming up into your downward facing dog. And remember, the biggest thing here is length through the spine. It's not about straight legs or getting your heels to the mat, much as we all like to do that. And you can sink your heels and then maybe walk your feet to pedal your feet. Walk the dog. And then find a stationary dog. Aiming for that long line through the spine, you'll feel the stretch down the backs of the legs. And I feel quite stiff today because <laughs> I haven't done as much yoga as I should have did last week or two. And breathe. And slowly walk your toes towards your hands, coming to the top of the mat. Now, if you can't reach, you can use blocks or anything, books, just resting your fingertips. Or you can just hang, but don't force your legs to be straight. You want them soft, never locked, never hang extended. Maybe holding your elbows through into a rag drop and swing side to side. And breathe. Then generously bend your knees, sweep the arms up, long spine coming into chair, Utkatasana. Engage the core. Make sure your tailbone's tucked under, no bottoms sticking out, and release. So I thought we might do classical sun salutation. Sun salutation, see, now there's so many versions of this, so it's just the one version. There is one bit of this that I don't particularly like, um, but I'll show it to you, but then we can, you can have a different option. So sun salutation, see, I'm just gonna grab a drink. Before we start, please do. If you ever need a drink, grab a drink. Sun salutation seat, Surya Namaskar. Start at the top of the mat. Hip, hip, 
feet hip width apart. Classically, your toes are together, heels apart. Most of us, our backs prefer our feet a bit wide. Lift your toes and spread them down onto the mat. Engage your quads, lift your kneecaps. Tuck the tailbone a little, engage your core. Roll your shoulders down and back. Long line of energy from the soles of your feet right the way through the crown of your head. So we start with an inhale, sweeping the arms up and with a gentle back bend. Only gentle, especially if you have problems with your back. And don't hold your breath because we're not going to move. Just one breath, one movement at the moment. So from here, we would then exhale on the next breath and come down into a deep forward fold. Again, you can put your hands on blocks if you wish. Make sure the knees are soft, no locking. Hands to the mat, and we start with the right foot stepping back. Right knee drops to the mat, coming into a low lunge. While we're here on the next inhale, we rise into our low lunge. Making sure you're not really here for a back bend, but keeping the core strong, the belly tucks in, but feel that stretch. You don't want, really, you need to be like that. You want your knee a bit further back, if that's okay for you, but be guided by your body. It's what your intention is. Hands down to the mat, framing that left foot, and step the left foot back into plank. Now, in your plank, instead of having your elbows and shoulders and, and wrists fall in line, you want your hands slightly in front. That means you've got a right angle here instead of um, a reduced angle. Now, in classical sun sal, oh, you can drop your knees here. In classical sun sal C, we then go to eight point pose. I'm going to show it to you. So drop your knees even if you're not drop. Eight point pose is toes, stay tuck, knees, hands, and then it's chin and chest. So actually, you do this. It's not very comfortable. <laughs> so come down to this and then drop down to the mat and your next inhale is to cobra. So next time we do it, you can do that eight point pose or you can do a different thing, I'll show you. Next inhale, push back, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And breathe. Exhale into downward facing dog, I should say. Next inhale, we're gonna step the right leg again, forward. Now it's gonna go through the gates of the arm, which is fairly impossible for many of us, but we'll give it a go. So take that right foot as far forward as you can and just help it and drop that left knee. Coming back into a low lunge and we'll inhale up into our low lunge and breathe. Keeping the core strong. Hands back down to the mat. Come back onto your back toes and step that left foot forward to the front of the mat. We'll walk it there. Coming back into the deep forward fold. And breathe, don't hold your breath. Generously bend the knees and sweep the arms up, outwards or sideways, back up to extended mountain and gentle back bend. And then bring the arms down to heart center, coming back to mountain. So that's the first side with the right foot leading. So we'll go through it again with the left foot leading. So starting in mountain, maybe hands at heart center. Then drop your hands, inhale up, extended mountain, gentle back bend. Exhale, hands down to the mat, deep forward fold. This time, step the left foot back and drop the knee, sweep up into a low lunge. Maybe even increasing that to stretch through the hip. And breathe. Hands down to the mat, framing the right foot, and step that right foot back to plank. Drop the knees, and either drop to your eight-point pose, toes, knees, hands, chin and chest, or simply lower down to the mat. Inhale up to cobra, and exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. 
and breathe. Left foot still lead is leading, so next inhale, left foot goes between the hands, however it gets there. Drop the right knee, untuck the toes if you wish, come back, low lunge. Hands back down to the mat, step that right foot forward, back to a deep forward fold. Generously bend the knees and inhale all the way up, Extend the back bend and release back to mountain. So I quite like classical. It's not as long as some salbi, but I like some salbi for different reasons. So we'll go through it once more um, each side and then we'll do a little flow. So mountain to start. Release the arm. Inhale up gentle back bend. Exhale, deep forward fold. Step the right foot back, drop the right knee, low lunge, arms up. Hands down to the mat, step the left foot back, plank. Drop the knees, down to the chest in whichever version you prefer. Inhale to cold. Tuck the toes, exhale downward facing dog. Step the right foot back between the hands, drop the left foot, left knee, low lunge, arms up. Hands back down to the mat, step the left foot forward, deep forward fold. Bend the knees, sweep up, gentle back bend, exhale, mountain. Last run through, left foot leading. Sweep up, gentle back bend, exhale, deep forward fold. Left foot steps back, left knee drops, arms up, low lunge. And breathe. Hands to the mat, step back, plank. Drop the knees, lower to the mat. Inhale to cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right knee drops, arms up, low lunge. Hands to the mat, onto the back foot, step forward, forward fold. Then the knees sweep up, gentle back bend, and down to mountain. Yay, nicely done everyone. I'll post that, uh, the picture I've got on the Facebook group and send it to you if you're not on the group. Lovely, have a shake out, have a, grab a drink, and we'll have a little bit of a warrior flow. Okay, so we'll come standing along the long side of the mat. Start by turning the left toes towards the short edge and bring the right toes in but hips are forward. Take the arms across the chest and as you inhale, sweep the arms out, bend that left leg. Check your alignment. Check that your knee is over your ankle and it's not going forward. If you want to stretch more, take your foot further out. Strong core, strong arms, check the height of your arms. You feel, feel your inner warrior, feel your strength. And breathe. Drop the right hand, turn the left palm up and sweep it back into your reverse warrior two. And breathe. Don't hold your breath. Then come back, warrior two. And breathe. Shift over to the left. Take the forearm to the left knee and the arm over, either up or straight over into side angle and breathe. Keep the legs as they are, strong core, back to warrior two. Don't crunch your shoulders, let them drop. Turn the body through 45 degrees. Take the hands behind and interlace the fingers and lift through the chest. Unhumble your warrior, hinging at the hips. Taking the arms as high as you wish, they can stay low, that's fine. And breathe. 
release the arms and take them to the mat. And walk them to the center, turning the toes in so the feet are parallel. Your legs are not locked, your knees are soft, coming into a wide legged forward fold. And let the head drop. And breathe. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, coming onto your fingertips or blocks. So you've got a nice long spine, flat back. Exhale and lower. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale and lower. One more. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale. And lower. Turn the feet so that they're sticking out at 45 degrees. Generously bend the knees. Cactus the arms. They're at 45 degrees, uh, 90 degrees at the elbows. And push up into goddess. Because we love it. <laughs> maybe taking the hands overhead. Maybe pulsing a little lower. Ooh. And then release up. Going back to the other side, turn the right toes out to the short edge, bring the left toes in, keep the hips forward. Take them a little wider maybe. Take the hands across the body and sweep out into your warrior two opposite side. Engage that core. Udiyana Bandha, Udiyana Bandha, that's what it's called. Check your arms and dropping. And check you're not shifting. You've got to be erect and straight. It's only sometimes in videos I notice my. But it's not about the shape, but the alignment matters for your intention of the pose. And breathe. Uh, drop the left palm. Yeah, turn the right palm and reverse the warrior, taking the gaze up to the right hand if you are able to. Isn't it? And breathe. And release back. To worry too. Shift over to the right, come to the forearm, take the arm over, up or over, into side angle. Feel the chest opening up at the side and breathe. Keep a strong core, strong legs come back, worry too. And turn 45 degrees. Take the hands behind, interlace the fingers, lift through the chest and humble your warrior hinge at the hips again. And breathe. Release the hands down to the mat. Come back to the center, turning the feet in again so they're parallel. Don't lock the knees. Place the right hand at the center and take the left up to the sky for a twist. Breathe. And then drop the left hand back to the center and take the right hand up to the sky. And breathe. And release. Walk the hands over to the left and place the right hand and the left hand on the ankle and just feel that extra stretch. And then walk them over to the right ankle. Feel that extra stretch. Come back to centre, turn the feet out again. Generously bend the knees, catch the arms and rise at once again into grass. This time, maybe coming on to tiptoes. <laughs> Only if you wish. Maybe going from one to the other, a wobbly goddess. <laughs> and release. Lovely. Have a little shake. We'll just have a, a tree in the middle for a balance, and then we'll do a little bit of warrior one. So, coming to the centre of your mat to start with. Don't know how many of you have been balancing <laughs> recently. So, shift the weight first into the right foot, externally rotate the left leg. Bring the heel to the ankle, that's your first tree. Or lift it higher, foot to uh, the calf, not to the knee. Make sure this standing leg is strong, kneecap engaged, core strong. Or lift it higher, 
to the thigh. Hands, heart center or waist or out, whatever's or overhead, wherever is right for you. Find a drishti point, a spot to look at that's not moving. And breathe. And if you're really wobbly, stand against the wall. And release. Lovely. Switch sides, shift weight into the left foot, sternly rotate the right leg. Place it at the point of your choice, just not the knee. And you're sometimes a lot more wobbly on one side than the other. Hands to the point of your choice. Find your drishti. Still scroll through your tree and breathe. And release. Actually. <laughs> Okay, well come and do a little bit of a warrior one with a balance as well. So facing the short edge of the mat on the left side, take the left foot forward, the right foot is turned in about 45 degrees, your hips are forward towards that short edge. Your leg should be about a leg length, leg and a half apart. Take the hands behind and as you inhale, sweep them forward and up as you bend that knee. And again, check the alignment of your ankle and knee. Engage your core, strong back leg, not locked, but pushing through the outer edge of that back foot. And breathe, you're warrior one. And breathe. Now, take your hands to heart center, keeping your, heart, your legs where they are and shift the weight into that left foot. Bring the right knee forward, bending the knee, and then stretch it out behind. And you're gonna hinge at the hips coming into warrior three. Your warrior three might just be there. Or you can go forward. Your hands can go out in front, um, arms overhead. Keep them there or place them down onto something to help you balance. Don't turn your hip out to the side. Try and keep your hips level. And breathe. And release, stepping back into where you want. Lovely. Hands behind again, interlacing the fingers, lifting through the chest with a gentle back bend. Keep that knee bent and humble your warrior one. Folding down over that side. Arms as high as you wish. And breathe. Take the hands down to the mat. Turn the left feet, coming into a side um, lunge. Lunge, that's the word, skandasana. Walk to center. Over to the left. Brilliant. Walk through centre back to right. <laughs> Walk through centre back to left. Turn towards that right foot. Drop the left heel. Generously bend that right knee and rise up into your warrior one. Be stabilizing yourself. And breathe through, drop the arms back and come back into where you want. And breathe. Shift the weight into that right foot, hands to heart center, bringing that left knee forward. And take that left leg out behind, hinging at the hips, again coming into warrior three. At the point that's right for you. <laughs> I'm wobbly on this side. And then gently step back into what you want. Take the hands behind, interlace the fingers, lift through the chest, and humble your warrior one. Okay. 
release the hands to the mat and come back down to your side lunge. Go over to the other side. Back to the right side. And then come to center. And heel toe in, so you're not in a really wide um, stand, but have the toes pointing out. We're going to do yogi squat for those, but there are options here. So you may need something, a cushion to put under your heels. You may wish to just stay in this position, and that's fine. If you want to come into yogi squat, then lower your hips, sending your knees in the same direction as your feet. If your heels are off the ground, make sure you put cushions or blocks or books under them so you're not straining your knees. Hands to heart center, pushing out the knees. And breathe. Then take your hands to the mat and come to sit on the mat. You can take them behind you and roll back. And if you're standing, just come down to the mat. And turning to the side, take the hands behind. This is what I call boat ready. So lifting through the chest. Lift the lower legs off the ground, but keep them bent. Take the arms out long side. And then if you wish, you can straighten your legs and flex. And straighten and flex. And one more straighten and maybe hold. And breathe. And cross the legs if you can and just come to seat. Stretch them out in front of you. Take a seated twist. So right foot bends up, knee bends. Right foot over, yeah, left leg, right foot over left leg. You can either keep that left leg straight or bend it underneath your choice. Left hand up to the sky, wraps around that right leg. Right hand up to the sky behind. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and twist. Stronger twist to the seated one we did at the beginning. And breathe. Feel that stretch through the right hip. And breathe. Release the head. Release the right arm, release the left. And have a counter twist the other way and release swap sides left knee bent left leg, leg over right your choice with the lower leg right hand to the sky wrap it around that left knee left hand to the sky and behind inhale and lengthen exhale and twist inhale and lengthen exhale and twist and breathe Release the head, the left arm, the right arm, and have a counter twist the other way. Lovely. Take uh, the feet in front, placing the soles of the feet together, and a gap between the heels and your body. Don't worry if your knees are high, everybody's different. You can put cushions under if you wish. And don't worry if they're low. I prefer it low, but that's just me. Hands at the ankle and lift through the chest so you've got the length in the spine. Inhaling in and then hinging at the hips. Doesn't matter how far you go, as soon as you've got to the end of your hinge, just drop your head from there. I just adore this pose. But six months ago, I absolutely couldn't do it. And breathe. And try and sink into the pump. Just a couple more breaths. And take your hands to the mat and roll back up. And release your legs. Let me give them a shake. We'll have um, a dragon because I know we uh, have less time because we started late, but we'll have a dragon before we come to lying down because we know I like dragons. So come to tabletop first 
And from tabletop, take your right foot to the outside of your right hand. That may be enough for you just there. Otherwise, walk that left knee back as far as is right for you. Feel free to put a folded blanket or a cushion under that knee. Lift the right foot and turn it out through 45 degrees and allow that right knee to drop open. You want no pain in that hip. If you've got pain, sorry, in the knee, if you've got any pain in the knee, you've gone too far. And breathe. Adjust your hands so you're balanced and then turn the body towards that right knee, placing your right hand on the right thigh. If you're a twisted dragon, taking a gaze over that right shoulder. A few breaths here. Take the gaze back. Help your knee come back in and your foot turn and straighten that right knee so the leg is straighter, giving a counter stretch and half monkey. And breathe. Move forward a little to help it release and we'll do it straight to the other side. So left foot to the outside of the left hand. Again, pick the position that's right for you today. Take that right knee as far back as is right. Turn the left foot out 45 degrees, allow the knee to drop open, rebalance and turn to face that left knee, taking your gaze over your left shoulder. The twisted dragon, twisted winged dragon at that. No, the twisted winged dragon. And breathe. And just try and sink. And I promise you, if you do a lot of dragons, your flexibility will increase. Turn back. Allow your knee to come back in and the foot to come back in. Straighten that left leg, coming into a counter stretch half monkey today. And then move forward a little just so you can release that foot and come to seated so that you can roll down to the mat. We'll have a happy baby here. So feet are wider than hip width. Knees are bent, so the knees are wider than the body. Feet up towards the ceiling, keeping the tailbone down to the mat. Take the arms on the inside of the knees and the outside of the feet so that the lower legs are pointing up to the ceiling with the feet flexed and the thighs are sort of heading towards parallel with the floor. And breathe. If you prefer, you can hold the big toes with your peace finger. And in this position, you can stretch out one leg and bend it, and then the other leg, and bend it, and then the third, and the second, and then both. And bend. And really, just bring the knees into the chest and rock a little side to side. We'll have our reclined pigeon again because um, it's very different at the end of the practice. So take the feet flat, take the right ankle across the left knee, encouraging that uh, right thigh in your way. Lift the foot. You might find this time you can hold closer or even around the whole leg. And breathe. And release. Allow the foot to come back to the mat, but keep your right ankle on your left knee and drop them both over to the left so the right sole of the foot comes to the mat. Stretch your arms out, take your gaze to the right, still encouraging that right knee away from you for a variation of a twist. Bring them back through center. And we'll swap sides, left ankle to right knee. 
into your pigeon, holding at the point that's right for you, feeling that stretch. And release the foot to the mat, but allow them both to drop over to the right this time. Taking your arms out, gaze over to the left. It doesn't matter if it's hanging off the floor, it doesn't matter. Just so that you can feel that stretch and twist across the body. Gaze back up to center. Take knees back to center, bring the arms in. Knees back into the chest and just rock again. And then take your feet to the edges of the mat and just windshield wipe them side to side. And next time the right knee drops into center, keep it there and place your left ankle on it. Just giving you that counter uh, movement of internal rotation and adduction. And windshield wipe again. And next time the left knee drops into the center, place your right foot and ankle on it. I love those counter movements that give such wrist stretches. <laughs> and release, come back to the center, take the feet flat to the mat, as close to your bottom as you can. Arms down by your side for a dynamic bridge. So we'll inhale, taking the arms up and overhead and lifting the hips. Exhale, come back down. One more inhale, lift, arms up and over. Exhale, back down. Third one, inhale, arms up and over. This time you're going to keep your hips in the air. But as you exhale, your hands will come back down. And you can take your feet closer. You can push your shoulder blades together, shoulders under you if you wish interlacing your hands keep coming onto your tiptoes if you want to just lifting that reach high and breathe and release knees into the chest again just lock it off and if you have a bolster or a cushion or a pillow now is the time to reach it keeping it under your sacrum for our favourite, favourite, favourite legs in the air, which is so good for you. It's so good to know you can do it. It's really lovely and it's good for you. And in this position, trying to lengthen the exhale, so breathing in for three and out for six, or in for four and out for eight. So your breath is providing a direct access point your parasympathetic nervous system, as is this position, all good. And breathe. Tune back into your body. Notice how you feel. Just a few more breaths. And from there, release your cushion, but if you wish, just rub it under your knee for supported shavasana. I'm sitting up, but you stay there. I'd like you to grab a blanket if you want to have one over you. And I mask anything to make you relax more. Because, and I know I've said it before a hundred times, but the relaxation, Shavasana is just as important as the rest of the practice. Tuning back into your body, your breath. And lying down so that you're comfortable. Just closing or softening your eyes. I'm sitting up, but that's just to guide you, it's okay. And allow your awareness to travel down to your right arm, to your right hand. Notice each of the fingers and the thumb. Notice the palm of the hand. 
the back of the hand, the wrist, forearm, the elbow, the upper arm and the right shoulder. Notice the whole of the right arm lying on the mat. Allow your awareness to move down the right side of the chest, the waist, the stomach, the right hip and all the way down the right leg. Notice the big toe, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe and the little toe. Notice the sole of the foot, the top of the foot, the lower leg, the knee, the upper leg and the right hip. Notice the whole of the right leg resting on the mat. Shift your awareness across the body all the way up to the right shoulder and down, sorry, to the left shoulder and down to the left. Notice each of the fingers and the thumb on the left hand. Notice the palm of the hand, the back of the hand, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, the upper arm, and the left shoulder. Allow your awareness to move down the left side of the ribs and chest, the waist, the stomach, the left hip and all the way down to the left foot. Notice the big toe, the second toe, third toe, the fourth toe and the little toe. Be aware of the sole of the foot, the top of the foot, the ankle, the lower leg, the knee, the upper leg, and the left hip. Notice the chest and the stomach rising and falling with the breath. Notice the length of the spine pushing into the mat. Be aware of the neck and the face the eyes, the ears, the nose, and the mouth. Notice the entire body sinking into the mat. And just allow it a few moments, just for a little while. Now visualize a warm and bright light above you. Visualize with every inhale, warm golden light coming into your body, filling your bloodstream, filling your lungs, filling your fingers and filling your tongue. As you inhale, feel energy surging through your body. Wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. Bend your knees. Bend your arms. Maybe take a full body stretch. Maybe pull the knees into the chest. Maybe rock side to side. Maybe roll onto one side. And slowly push yourself up to a seated position, keeping your eyes soft or closed. Rub the skin on your arms and the skin on your legs. Take the fingertips behind the neck and massage into the hairline. Take hands down to the mat. We'll have three of these sunshine breaths that we did previously. So inhale, take your arms up. Pause, holding the sun. Hands together and exhale through the mouth. 
and again. Inhale, take them up. Pause. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, take them up. Hands together. Sorry, hold this in. Hands together. Exhale. Wishing you a beautiful weekend. Namaste.